What is going on guys? It is Michael and I am back with another figure review. Today we are looking at the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian full Beskar armor. Probably my favorite Star Wars Black figure I've gotten to date. I mean, the, the dude is just awesome. I mean, just look at him. I mean, he just he, he looks like he stepped out of the show onto the table. With I mean, I do have a couple of, of minor gripes uh, that we will talk about when we get there, but... Uh, for the most part, I think they, they Hasbro absolutely nailed this figure, and uh, I, I couldn't be more pleased. I can't wait to see what else they do. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I, I just think he's so cool. So uh, let's let's not wait. Let's go ahead and hop into it. First, we need to take a look at his accessories, which he has one in his hand, and I've got two off here to the side. Um, first, we're going to start with his blaster, though. Uh, this blaster... Uh, I think is is it's it's actually one of my uh, one of the two minor gripes that I have with this figure. I think technically three minor gripes, but um, I really wish that they had done a little bit more with the blaster. I think it comes across okay on camera. It looks like it's got this you know reflective and and it is it is kind of shiny. Uh, but again, it's just this this silver paint that's over it, and it kind of leaves up to the actual molding to. Uh, put any sort of detail on it and you know I wish they would just go I, I wish they would have gone back with a little bit of black or or something to line up the sides of this gun to make it a little bit better make it pop a little more I mean I like it I, I, I think it's cool I think it definitely looks like it does in the show I just wish there was a little more detail done on the blaster itself but for the most part I, I enjoy the colors that they use I like the brown I like the brown uh, 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 grip and I like the silver paint that they put on there like I said just wish they'd done a little bit more uh, with it and this actually can go right into his holster go to right here ah, goes right in there and that just plugs right up into there but so that, that's really nice the second uh, accessory that he comes with is his uh, disintegrator rifle and I think they did a pretty good job with the rifle um, it's got this uh, this brown that they use on the pistol here for the uh, for the stock uh, and then you've got the same silver that they use right here. But then they put a black here on the barrel and on the scope. I don't necessarily know if it's accurate to how it is on the show. But I think it looks cool. And it comes back to the silver here. Uh, I think the reason I like this a little more than the blaster. His little uh, his little blaster is because of, you know, just, just the change in colors here. I, I wish they had done that a little more with the blaster. I know it's so small and it's kind of hard to. But, you know. I just think they did a better job with some of the details on here. And I, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like there's a little bit of scuff here on this silver paint at the end. So I'm thinking maybe this whole thing is black that they just kind of put silver here. And it all kind of like has this like speckle, like it all kind of shines. So I think that's cool. And then it's got this little bearer here that's supposed to plug into his back. Um, but uh, something happened with it. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it looks like I need to take a file and just kind of file some of this down. Um, and this, uh, actually, I, I, I'll show that a little later, how that plugs in. Um, and then you have his uh, his jetpack, and I, I think this is another problem I do have with the figure. Is, and it's not a major problem, but I'm not a huge fan of how they did the jetpack. It's this really dark gray that has, again, this like speckle to get it to shine. And um, I'm not opposed to what they did with it. I think the sculpt looks fine. I think it looks fine. Um, I just wish it was a little closer to this silver color, and I don't know if it's supposed to be that close, but I just think it, it you know, it, I think it looks better if, if it matches more, you know, I wish it was more of this silver color, but, uh, I, you know, I still think they did a good job with the design of it anyway, and, uh, that actually plugs right back here, you have to move this strap to be, uh, even with this, and that'll plug in right here, and I'll have that plugged in in just a second. Alright, sorry about that. I had to, I had to restart um, my recording. The framework got a little choppy. Anyway, so uh, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the way you have to put the jetpack on, mainly because it just kind of messes with his his cloak here, and I don't think it looks as good, obviously, because his cloak. And this is gonna be this was actually my like main second problem that I had with it is his cloak. It just kind of messes with it because it's this really stiff plastic, so you have to either take it off or you have to shove it off to the side here and I, I honestly i wish they had given us a uh a soft goods cloak um uh boba fett kind of has i i don't want it to be exactly like boba fett's because i think his is kind of stiff and plain but maybe you like uh maybe like the material that they use for darth vader's cloak um but um excuse me his cape but uh uh, at least a soft goods material. I, I thought I think it would have been a, a way better design choice, and I think for functionality it would have looked way better as well. Um, so, but uh, that's actually my 
the other main problem I had. But I mean, other than that, like I said, the the main problems mostly mostly involve these two things. I wish this was done a little tiny bit better, and I wish this was also done better. Um, and then the cloak, which I guess I didn't even take this into consideration. So I guess three problems. You know, my math is not all great. Um, but uh, yeah, so these are the accessories, and you can actually uh, you can actually put most of these accessories on at the same time. Obviously, his his uh, blaster goes into his holster case. Just goes right in there. I think it looks really good. Take that back out. Um, and then this actually, like I said, this has this little plug here. And that also is supposed to line up right there. Um, but anyway, so yeah, it just plugs right into the back. And you can still kind of have the cape, his uh, cape with it as well. Uh, so it doesn't interfere as much. Um, he's like, he does this like weird lean thing. Let me see. Got to try and keep this strap on his shoulder here. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it looks fine. Honestly, I really like the design of just having him with his his uh, his disintegrator rifle on his back. I just think it looks really cool. It really really cool. Um, but most of the time, I, I am displayed with him not having it. It's just kind of uh, the Manda himself. Because I mean, now that we're actually onto the figure itself, it, he just looks so cool. I mean, they nailed everything on this figure. I think when it, uh, look wise, I think I really like the way the helmet came out. I think uh, obviously the video is doing a little more justice with the different light sources I have on here, but it's not as reflective as you see here. It's still nice and it still has this reflect reflectivity. Um, but uh, it's not as nice as it looks on the camera. Mainly, I think because of the light on my camera is this bluer. So you're seeing this blue, this more like a blue tint light coming off of it. So it just looks like it's reflecting more. Um, but uh, it looks really cool anyway. So I think the helmet, they nailed the helmet design. Everything about it just looks so cool. Um, I wish, uh, I mean, it's a little excessive, but a little light thing that I could like plug right here or take on and off. Because he has that in uh, season one, he uses that. Um, the shoulder pads look really good, and the shoulder pads are, uh, the, you know, you think that they would uh, interfere with uh, any sort of articulation, but they don't. I think it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like how Captain America's, uh, the in-game Captain America shoulder pads were bendy, uh, so they can go up like that, and uh, they eventually will just kind of go back into place, but I really like it. Same thing with this one as well, and it's got the little, it's got the, uh, it's got his little, it's got his little symbol on it. I forgot what the name of the monster was, uh, but uh, I, I think it looks really cool. I think they did a really good job with this, like this bandolier, this strap that comes across with, with I'm guessing <laughs> power cells or <laughs> I don't even know what you'd call these. Uh, I'm not like huge into the technical terms of a lot of the stuff in Star Wars. I do love Star Wars, but you know I know I know that this is a blaster. I couldn't tell you which type of blaster. I mean the only blasters I know are like E11s and DL44s because they're just kind of like base ones. But um, yeah, it looks really cool, and I, I like the. Uh, I like that they still kind of kept this this gray cloth underneath. It's actually bendable as well, so this this bends so it doesn't interfere with anything. And I really like that they did that. There's just a lot of bendable material bendable material on here, and they kind of try like same with this. They really try and um, keep him so he can at least still be a little flexible. And I I really appreciate that. I really like the gauntlets. Um, I like the gloves as well. Uh, I'm not sure if these are the accurate gloves i feel like they're a little more either like yellowish or orangish I, i'm not sure but i still think it looks really good and then you have the um excuse my nail sorry and then you have the uh the the little blue triangle i think it looks really cool and i think the the holster came out really well it's this this leather this leather brown obviously looks really cool and then his uh his leg that still kind of has the reminder of his old armor um yeah i really like the boots i really like how these came out with the straps on it as well got the little knee pads boots look awesome yeah I, I think like when it comes to look wise I think they nailed this figure I think he looks exactly like he does from the show you know I, I think uh, I just you know he's just such a badass figure to have on my shelf um, articulation wise he's like I said he's actually pretty articulate uh, because of the design choices they have is he can look down that much and he can actually look up about that much which isn't bad. I mean, if you want to have him on his uh, his jetpack, it's a little hard to have him since his head can't look as much if you're trying to have him fly. Uh, but it, I think it still does good, and it kind of has this. It goes side to side, and I think it's because of this new the new neck joint that they have here. It's like the whole entire thing moves all the way down in the base. I think there's like a ball joint in there that this can uh, rotate around on. I, I think it's really cool. Um, 
uh, then it's like I said, his his arms can go about go up about 90 degrees, and it's because of that design choice that they had for the shoulders, and I think that's really cool. Uh, and then you know, it's just a ball joint there; they can move that around. Uh, and then he does his uh, upper arm can uh, can twist around a single jointed elbows. I really wish that uh, Black Series would please just start doing double jointed elbows on all their stuff, but you know, it, it's it's fine. I, I can deal with it. His he's got a um, his wrist hinge right here and it goes 360 pretty cool pretty cool then, then he's got this uh this waist joint right here that allows him to move all the way around uh, I like I said it's really cool because they made this rubbery and it's uh it allows it to stretch and move around so you can still do stuff with him obviously he's wearing armor so you can't do do much but I mean it's better than I feel like we would have gotten with other figures uh, especially older Hasbro figures, I feel like it's way better. Um, same with the legs right here. I mean, like I said, all this bendable material is just so nice to have on these figures because you can just do so much more with them. I mean, his, he, his legs he kick out about that much, and then he does have, thank God, double jointed knees. Um, and then there is a uh, there is an upper thigh uh, upper thigh swivel as well. I think that's really cool. Uh, there's an ankle pivot. His it goes out that much kicks up that much so you know overall just posability wise the you know i again i wish he would do i wish they would do double jointed elbows on a lot of their figures but i can understand uh why they don't um actually no honestly i don't understand why they don't are there marvel legends have them most of the time and there's a couple of even star wars black figures that have them as well but uh for the most part uh he's still a pretty flexible figure even without that um, so hats off to Hasbro for doing that and their design choices, but, um, I think he looks really cool. He looks exactly like Mando from the show. I love him on my shelf. Uh, I love having him stand next to a uh, Jango Fett and Boba Fett. And since I have Boba Fett here, I might as well do, here's them standing next to each other. And it looks like Mando is a little taller. Maybe it's cause I have him. Uh, yeah, Mando's a little taller, but I think they look great standing next to each other. And, uh, I'm really hoping that when the uh, Book of Boba Fett comes out, we can get a uh, a new Boba Fett figure. Honestly, I thought we would have gotten one in like a Mandalorian wave, but we did. I think it would be cool to have like the the robed, the black like robed Boba Fett that we see in season two of Mando with the the repainted helmet. I just think he looks so cool. So hopefully we'll see something like that. But yeah, man. Uh, well, yeah, man. Yeah, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you ever see this figure, if you ever can get it, I know I had to pre-order mine on a website called Big Bad Toy Store, and uh, my brother also pre-ordered uh, pre-ordered it off the off there as well. And then, um, you know, I can hardly find these guys. So if you do see him, pick him up, pick him up. There is a, another pack that ha that is out there that has him, and it's got the child uh, and its little carrier, uh, and it's got like a couple bars of Beskar, and you know, it's it, I I don't know exactly uh, what it is. Uh, why they released two different versions of why I've never even seen the second version but yeah that second version I know I saw on Amazon for like a hundred bucks so if you can find this figure definitely pick him up he's like I'm you definitely if you love the Mandalorian if you love Star Wars fuck if you love if you love nice looking figures I, I really think you should you should pick this up you know even if you're not a Star Wars fan that's how great of a figure I think this is I just think he looks cool everything about him is cool so thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a wonderful day uh, if you want kind of a sneak peek on what I plan on reviewing next time, uh, I'm thinking about doing the uh, Gaming Greats Star Wars The Force Unleashed uh, Stormtrooper Commander. I've got the box right here. Uh, I'm not going to show him out, but you know, I just think it looks fantastic. He was definitely a good pickup. I'm glad I've got him, but that'll probably be the next figure review. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful night. I will see you guys on the next one.